Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Settlement Survival. We are doing just that. We're surviving. We're not thriving. But, uh, let's see. Last episode we brought in a bunch of, I guess, immigrants. Like 18, it seemed like. Something like that. And now we are hurting on food. Desperately hurting on food. We're <laughs> in fact, we're going to... We're going to pay a big price. Hey, it looks like that cemetery was able to just be deconstructed and reconstructed. And we're going to need it because uh, we're coming into winter and we have nowhere near enough food to get through. Uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, we did get our boiler room here. Let's, um, water is tight. Food is just unbelievably bad for, uh, for this time of year. It's just ridiculously low. Let's see. I'm going to take someone off of iron. See if we can't get this last field harvested with any luck. Uh, looks like these pumpkins are done. Let's take these people off and put them up here if we can. Take people out of here off of this field. And I'm going to actually fire up our boiler room. Looks like that will only take one person. We've got a well that just got done. Let's get another worker in that. And set it to water. Can take some workers out of here. Boom, boom. And here. Boom. Yeah, we're in trouble. Firewood is not looking good either. Oh, man. Uh, how about timbers? Everything's a little rough right now. We're stretched pretty thin. We we may have um, ramped up a little too aggressively. Here's a hunter's hut. Let's get a couple more people in there. That might bring in a little bit of food for us. What's next over here? Maybe... Maybe this forester's hut we should prioritize. Um, let's hand clear some trees. Maybe that will help our timber situation. Got some here we could grab as well. All right, I've got one laborer left. No one working the latrine. Hopefully this boiler room saves us a little bit on heat for these eight houses that are in, in its range. Actually, it looks like maybe we got two more houses here. Maybe ten houses will benefit from that boiler room. We'll see. Um, yeah, they've got, they've got some domestic fuel in their homes. These guys don't have enough vegetables to process, so let's take that down to one cook. In fact, we could take that down to zero cooks. Where could we put these people that might help us? Uh, Taylor? People aren't complaining about clothes, they're complaining about food. This field is still trying to be harvested. Let's uh, add more people. While we can. Yeah, we're going to lose a bunch of crop, I think. Food's in bad shape. Bad shape on food right now. All right, I'm going to take down a builder. And I'm going to put them in this pasture. Not sure if that'll help. Maybe. Only got two goose in there. Oh, man. Tea shop is turned off because we're short on B on water, actually. Could probably put somebody in there. That may help with our health. Let's take somebody off of this clay dredging and get them in the tea shop. Maybe that will help people a little bit. We do have water now. It's a little better. I'm looking for our gatherer's hut. We got four people in there and they've got 
a storeroom or a stockpile right next door, a storage yard. So hopefully they can still work in the winter time. I'm not sure if they do. Timbers, okay, not great. This hunter's hut is full with three people. Three people hunting up there. 43 food is not going to get us through winter. We're going to see some people starving for sure. And we're going to fill up that graveyard. How about school kids? We've got 24 now, so that second school is being utilized. That's good. Happiness is at 77%. It's been higher. It's definitely been lower. Oh, man. Look at all these warnings. <laughs> Eight citizens are homeless. Uh, what about the temporary housing? Let's prioritize that, maybe? That would solve that problem. Hey. These guys are in range of the boiler, but they're still taking uh, domestic fuel. Okay, fuel reserves are low. I get it. That sawmill is full of people doing domestic fuel. We've got two sawmills here doing domestic fuel. Ooh, this one could use another worker. Uh, where can I steal a worker? How about from that, from the forge? And let's get more domestic fuel built or produced. I've got a sawmill waiting here and a forester's hut. Um, what are we doing on timber? Okay. Let's prioritize the sawmill here. Food's horrible. People are starving. Seven citizens want new houses. We got a tech point. Don't care. It's six people starving. Nobody die yet. Uh, Burton Woodcutter has frozen to death. Not good. Not good. Oh, I got all these people in here. Let's, you guys go do something productive. Let's gather more wood. Forester's hut, let's prioritize that as well. Um, I can get people back into the stone mine and I can get people doing iron. They're not going to work long shifts in this freezing cold, but we'll get something out of it, I hope. We need four more pieces of timber here for our temporary housing, and that should solve our, our homeless problem for a good long time. Oh, no, it needs a bunch more stuff. Stone. We've got the stone. I have outhouses that need to be staffed. Let's do it. occurs to me I should actually have somebody work in the compost because that's going to increase our yield on the farms, right? Water's okay. It looks like it's recovering. Um, I've got a lot of coffee. Repair shop. That's another thing we've kind of neglected. Let's see. How are the houses doing? 132 durability. Seems like they're doing all right. Tools were okay. Fuel is a little tight. Iron looks good. Clay looks okay. We've got bricks to smelt. Okay, this thing. I'm going to shut down this outhouse. I don't need two of them right now. Tempted to make more coffee.
Let's let's do that. This guy, does he not he's hungry? Oh, that's the teacher, sorry. Where's our butcher? Butcher is empty. That's a mistake. Meat chop. Uh, I'll pack a meat. Gotta have some kind of meat. Jeez, looks like we have no... At least I don't see any meat in here. Honey. Duck. Matthew died of starvation. Reserve of fuel is low. The reserve of food is low. We're into February here. We're probably going to make it through. But, oh, man, look at that graveyard filled up. Got 90 working people, 32 kids, and 23 students. Okay, in recent days, one particular citizen seems to be sleepwalking, no matter how much other calls out, call out to him. There is no response, and he continues on without eating or drinking. People around here are really worried. Force him to wake him up? Yep, let's try it. Tristan woke from his sleep. It seems I have, I have a long dream where I was alone in the desert and couldn't get out no matter how I tried. And now I feel so hungry and thirsty. Okay, not sure what that was about, but... Another woodcutter died of starvation. Let's prioritize this farm. And let's put in a road. And maybe get another farm plot going here. Just do standard farm. In fact, we'll do two. Prioritize these. Oh, are they only let me do one? That's fine. That is fine. Water's looking really good. Food is looking really bad. We're into March. Does our butcher have anything to work on? Yeah, a little bit. I've got one laborer. We do building kits. Brick, planks, and steel. Let's uh, see how many bricks. We got 110. I'm going to pull the smelter off and put someone into our forge. Hopefully we can get those building kits and then eventually, finally, finally upgrade some of these houses. <clears throat> Okay, we're planting. Let's pause. Pause. And let's maximize the folks doing that work. The forestry. I'm going to take the people off of each of these right now. Let's... I don't know if this is a waste, you know, putting these people on here. I I'm just kind of guessing that it'll be faster. Water's looking really good. I'm going to take down the water folk a bit. I'll leave the tea house with two people, but I'm going to take some of this down. Builder, I'm going to take down... What else? Gatherers. Oh, Mill. How are we doing on firewood? Not good. Gatherers. I'm actually going to take two gatherers down. And get them working in the farms. Okay, I'll hit play again. How are we doing on clothing? We've got plenty of reserves of flax, and we've got 
No reserves of linen. Rough clothes. We've got 164. Boy. We've got a long way to go. We're slowly racking up tech points. We haven't really used them. I don't want these farms prioritized. But everybody is very, very hungry. We're going to lose more people. Yep. Darcy, we lost somebody. Aiden. Out of starvation. I see lots of hungry folks. Trying to get these fields. Here's someone working on a field. They're hungry while they're doing it. Oh, yeah, we said we should have somebody in here, too. Oh, man. Let's uh, pull two iron people out. Let's get someone working on compost. Water's okay. We've got two people working in the tea shop. We've got 61 coffee reserve. Hopefully that's helping up happiness a little bit. All right, we've got a new sawmill. We don't have a lot of timber. Get a new forester's hut. Hunter's hut, we want to keep that stocked. We're fully staffed. Probably missing some obvious things here I should be doing. Can we upgrade this? They want me to have glass and brick as well. Well, the building kits. Oh, man. We've got zero so far. Another student died of starvation. Not happy about that. Got this giant field with only one person on it. That's not good. Another field here that's ready. Let's go pumpkin on that one. And let's take somebody off of here. Back. Let's go with two people per farm. Prioritize this one. Water's good. Timber's just barely holding steady. We don't have anybody making planks at the moment. But we have... Oh, man, look at... We lost some of our woodcutter guys that died off. Not good to see. Okay. No free workers. I think we have to hold off on the building kits. Let's uh, make sure we're building firewood here. Pop someone there, take someone off this less efficient building. Put three people in the sawmill. I should have nine. Oh, that someone died here too. It's only got two or three. Like I said, it's a short blanket. We're trying to get it done. We got three people doing Fuel there, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's uh, get this person out and into the sawmill. It's a little more effective there. We've got nine people doing firewood. It's starting to accumulate. I have harvested coal. We've picked it up. I imagine they've taken it and burned it all up. I don't see it anywhere. Herbalist hut, sawmill. Forester and Hunter. Could probably do a um, gatherer's hut out here too, right? Maybe here. I 
People are hungry. People are starving. Trying to get more of these farms going. But people are out there hungry. I think they're probably not working quite as effectively. Oh, look at all this hungry people. Oh, man, it's sad. Water's doing pretty good. Let's take someone off of water and get them on a farm. Maybe this big monster farm seems like it's lagging. labor okay we must have just died Otis died Ernest died of old age I can't feel too bad about that one looking for places I can pull workers off of maybe another one of these water workers can come off and help on the farm Pull someone off of that. Get them over here. Nope. Another person died. Another person died. How's our graveyard? Oh my gosh, look at this graveyard. Oh, it's so sad. Oh man, that's no good. Let's deconstruct that one. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. That's sad to see. A lot of uh, productivity we're losing. All these people dying off. Clothing's okay. Ore is good right now. Stone is actually doing pretty good. We've got our temporary housing almost done. 28 people are starving. There's only two homeless. One's injured. And the sheriff found one murderer. Not sure what we do about that. Is that him? <laughs> He's just kind of whistling. Don't mind me. Where is our sheriff? Where is that? And there it is, police station. Yeah, we've got one person there. Okay, we've got a bunch of uh, fuel sitting here heating up these homes. Hopefully that's helping. Happiness is 74%. Um, hopefully we're not going to be throwing dead people out on the streets here. My uh, graveyards are filling up. This field obviously needs way more people. Can't keep up. Got plenty of animal dung. Not sure where to steal people. We've got two builders cabins going. Uh, maybe I could borrow someone from there. Get them on this field. Water's okay. Food's horrible. Clothing is good. Firewood looks decent to me. We could put another boiler room somewhere around here. Tear something down. Uh, it's a big building, though. Eat all these homes. I'd have to rip something out. Maybe the clinic. Uh, would that... Now that we had to find a place for the clinic. What could I get rid of? A storage yard? I was hoping to upgrade houses, but apparently that's just not going to happen. Hoping to send out a caravan, too. And that's not going to happen. Struggling to stay alive. Dude, is the worst. Worst of everything. Do we have our kitchen guy working or butcher? Lack of raw materials. Yeah, I guess we'll put him on a farm or something. We out of far farming's over. Farm time's over. Let's see if we can bring in the harvest. 
Oh man. Definitely need more farms. Oh, here comes a bunch of <laughs> we got a whole bunch of immigrants coming here. Uh think, yeah. We <laughs> oh man. I don't know. I've got the temporary housing now. They're not gonna be happy with it. Um, I may take them in to my detriment and just put them all on farms. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it against my better judgment. 12 more people. Okay. A citizen is, okay. A citizen, a citizen has caught the plague. The disease is highly infectious and requires the development of the necessary tech in order to treat effectively. The infectious disease Institute under the education tech will allow hospitals and pharmacies under livability tech. My goodness. Education tech. All right, let's look. We've got tech points. Oh boy. Science, I'm guessing, maybe. No, I don't see it. That education tech. Herbalist. Tell you what, let's, um, let's pause for a second and get people allocated where we need them. We'll pull people off farms. I'm going to get people into the builders cabins. And I'm going to get people into our forestry. I want to do some building of farms and things. Um, Dude, I'm stuck. We're just gonna we're just gonna take a hit. Pretty big hit. I think I can get another person working on that. For making fertilizer. This somehow went to zero. Someone must have died. Let's get someone in there working on the field. Sawmill. Not concerned about, but I do want these foresters to bring in timber. Mine, we have the hunter's hut fully allocated. What do I got? 12 more workers. Builders. The butcher, do we even have anything? I don't think so. They probably ate all the raw meat. Veg processing plant. Oh man, yeah, food is so low. We are just in major trouble. What could we do to solve our food problems? I've got storage charts nearby trying to maximize the transfer speed. Lost, we lost workers. Everybody's dying of hunger. Could be in a major death spiral here. Let's get some. Um, I'm gonna get farms built. Not gonna help us right this minute. Two people working there. Um, we could, what do we have? Nine more workers. Let's get people in the chopping house. Taylor is making clothes out of alpaca wool. And it looks like we have a good supply. Let's uh, stack up on food while we've, I mean, on the clothing while we've got people to do it. And let's get that going as well. Get some linen made. Home stuff. Boy. We're going to building materials. Uh, I'm going to add a person there. Add a couple here. And let's play. And I'm going to go single speed. 
We can turn off this reed farm. Let's get rid of that. And instead, maybe get caught up on water. Timber is okay. We've got at least 12 foresters running. All right, now we got to figure out what to do with the plague. And we're going to get to have a die off there. It said something in the tech tree for this herbalist hut. Is it hospital? Bathhouse. We've got only two points. Capable of granting extra health bonus, curing the speed of tuberculosis. I think we got like the Black Death going, right? Plague. Yeah. It said under education technology, but I don't see education technology. Okay, we've got these message, trick or treat messages on top of our tech tree here. Police station we have done, theater, cathedral, nothing to do there. This seems like what we should be doing. Okay, curing speed of measles will be increased. Waterborne disease, cholera. Measles. Berkeleosis. Treatment of the flu. Hmm, seems like it would be in there, but I don't see it. We do have the boiler room. Senior housing can accommodate up to 36 people with a proper inventory to build residual stockpiles for daily consumption, adjusting their housing level to level three, built near the marketplace, only aged ones who can no longer procreate. Um, that needs building kits. It's kind of interesting. Drinks we have activated. We've got the tea shop going. Currently we're making coffee beans. Candy workshop, nope. Science. Is it in here? Oh, boarding school. Academy. Don't know. Looking for something to help us with the plague. Efficiency growth rate, oaks, paper, reservoir, which can produce drinking water, must be built near the water, can produce a large amount of water. Years, trade, we have no surplus goods, so I've been kind of ignoring that. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Near mine, external decimal minor decreases. Same functions of the mine with greater reserves and higher efficiency. We built in a flat area, but unable to upgrade an open mine. Senior mine, same functions of the mine, greater reserves can be upgraded to a deep mine. Hmm. Silver minting quarry. Minting can process silver into coins for use in town. Oh man. So much to do. So much to do. We've activated this whole tree there. Construction again. I'm just looking. Black bedding, shop bedding, fact, I use bedding, luxury bedding to upgrade houses. Process feathers or wool and cloth into a bedding set and can be upgraded. Bedding factory, advanced bedding. So imagine helps with happiness. Furniture, cut stone. We've got that one activated. Bridge building. We don't need bridges right now. Lighting. Brick kilns and ovens. Increase the production efficiency of the building. Oh man, there's just so much to do. Agriculture. We need to get, you know, um, fisheries built. Let's look at doing that. 
we're running single speed. I'm sure we got people dying like crazy. Look at our graveyard. Oh man. Not good. Not good. Let's put down a new one. Services. Cemetery. Point. Maybe even prioritize that. Ooh, no candies. Water's okay. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, I got my people are just dying off. Feel like I need to prioritize food kind of stuff. How's fuel doing? Okay. Might take someone... Well, let's get a construction project going over here where the fish are and see if we can't do something with this. How does this work? Is there a place where this is going to be workable? Whoop, right there. Water area 46%. I'll take it. And I'll take it. All right. Roads. Roads, roads, roads. Boom. 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 And you need to find a way into town. How about this way? And why don't we prioritize this actually? Okay, let's go to five times speed. We're gonna incur a lot of death here, unfortunately. But I'm hoping we can rebound. Yeah, our living population's down to 82. That's a decrease. I think we were in the 90s not too long ago. But we will try and pull out of it. We'll try to pull out of it. Right now we've got a lot of people doing building. Food's really low. Water is okay. And timber is like zero. I'm wondering if this boiler room is really helping us. I would hope so. Trying to get warm. Got a bunch of fuel in there. Wonder if we should be putting one over here, if that would reduce our requirement. Not much I can rip down. I guess I could, yeah, I don't want to rip down the storage yard. Clinic, cholera, even for plague. All right. Yeah, I just don't know what I can do about the plague. Got four people infected with the plague. Five are freezing and 12 are starving. Down to 79 adults. Water's okay. Food is not. Got one person in each mine. It doesn't seem like that's a lot. Let's, uh, I'm going to take that person off though. And we're going to have to try and farm this year. Hopefully we'll do a little better with the farming. What are we doing on fertilizer? We've got 78 fertilizer in reserves. Tools are okay. It looks like we're going to make it through with firewood. We've got a bunch of these herbs. What can I do with those? I only need like a, some kind of medicine shop or something. Clinic. Here's the sick. We upgraded hospital with the required text unlocked. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. We will continue on with the next episode to see if we can get through the plague here. We've got two more people infected with the plague. Maybe they will uh, not spread it. That would be nice. <laughs>
And then uh, we don't have anybody homeless. That's a good sign. Water's looking good. Food is just horrible. We're going to try and get a jump on that next year, next season here. Uh, I do have two people working in the compost plant, so hopefully that fertilizer will pay off. And then we've got more farms placed where we can get people working those. And we placed two um, fisheries over here. Do we have the planks to do this? Uh, we do to build these. Should not be a problem. And we've got the iron on hand too. We just got to get the builders up there. But yeah, we'll pick it up next episode for Analysis of Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on settlement survival. I'm definitely enjoying playing it. We are surviving. We are not yet thriving. But we're working towards it. We're doing what we can. So I will see you all in the next episode.